to this pastor, the shepherd of this house, president, our president of Bojack Aim, and our superintendent of Bojack, period. Amen. I'm about to speak a word of prayer over this microphone right now. Amen. But in also giving honor to our presiding bishop, he is our speaker today. We thank God for him. Giving honor to Pastor Young. He is in the back. Elder Stephen. He said I was allowed to be back into this church, but thank God I'm still here. Amen. And we also thank God for all of you. We thank God for this New Year, New Me celebration. But some people just say that just to say that. Because it's the New Year. But we know God will turn it around. Do I have a witness here? Oh, the Scott's going to be the. I'm just kidding. Thank you, sir. Amen. We thank God. But uh, the speaker is here. Our bishop is here. We don't want to prolong the time with him. No, so, is there anybody with a testimony? I got one, but I'll say it when I speak. Very good. Don't forget like me, though. I thank God, giving honor to God, um, to the bishops, deacons, everyone in the, everyone in the house of God. Um, I thank God that he allowed me to spend for Chris for Christmas a wonderful Christmas to celebrate his son's birthday and give him um, the glory and the honor and praise um, I thank God that he allowed me to spend some time with my family on today for having a, to give us a service and just bond together and that's it amen amen I take a new cord for you yeah <laughs> we thank God. Just because you beat us twice next time, we're gonna beat you twice as more as you beat us. We're gonna beat you four times on the next day. You beat us twice. So I don't know what you want to do, but I'm gonna think in my mind. What, brother? Why? Because the Bible says that vengeance is the Lord's. No, put these on Stephen. So, yeah. So I'm gonna just let God take that into His hands. Tell an ever just say, keep on smiling. Keep on smiling. I, I spoke a message at my church that said, keep on smiling. Even though your haters may be, may be hating you right now, but you just keep on smiling. Ah! I'm not the speaker of this book, but there is a song in my mind on the tip of my tongue. There's so many tic tacs in my mind. Then right now. But we could have something different.
Put up our hands and give God some yeah. Can you put up me up a little bit? Just a little bit. <laughs> some praise. Give God some praise. I said give him some praise. Give him some praise. Clap your hands, everybody. And give God some praise in here. Are you happy to be here? Are you happy to be in the service? Give God some praise in this room. Give God some praise that he woke you up this morning. Shut it, you on your way. You better open your mouth and say, I will praise God from the bottom of my stomach. I will praise God with the fruit of my lips, I will praise God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yeah. God is great and he is greatly to be praised. Come on now, if you believe it now, let's just put our hands together and give God some praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Don't do that, don't do that. Amen. It is offering time. Yeah, it is offering time. It, now is the time where we all can take part in. It is offering time. So if you have your offering, you got some left over for first service. If you have your offering, just put it in the pan. Let's give it some music. Why'd you give, why'd you give it all in first service? Because he was speaking us. Hey man, if you got offering, go ahead and give me some music. Thank you for the offering that the people have gave. Lord, bless the people that gave the offering. Bless the people that did not not were able to give. Oh Lord, now let them give in a different time. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. We thank you all for what you have given, and I'm just gonna go straight into why. Jeremiah has to sing his song and then announcements. Jeremiah doing my thing. Oh, announcements and that's a lot. All right, let's go. Amen. Let's give let's give our uh, uh, bishop a hand. Amen. Well, I had too many Tic Tacs in my mouth. Well, first of all, here's the first thing. I'm going to say announcements that Elder Zachary Gibson is going to come introduce our presiding bishop. Then after that, then I'll come back with the song. Amen. Announcement. We will be at Bible Way Church of God in Christ tomorrow at the 10 o'clock hour at night. That is past my bedtime, but we still gotta go. At 10 o'clock at Bible Way for the watch night service. The slideshow starts at 10, and then after the slideshow will go right into service. Amen. Also, I tried to make this announcement earlier, but I forgot. We and President Gibson are going to get together to see about Bojack Aim this year to see if we can actually do it at Cincinnati. Does that sound good? That was, you're insane, Joshua. That could work. So, me and President are going to get all the details out. But right now, that's just a possibility. We don't know yet. Because we didn't have it last year. That made me mad. Kinda. A little bit. I guess. Yes, God will provide. Elder. Amen. And after 
after the introduction and after the selection, the next, next, next speaking voice you will hear is our presiding bishop. He is a pastor of Temple. I'll just let him do it. Come on, elders. Huh? All right, he told me to do it. The speaker is none other than our presiding bishop. He's eager to get up. I can see he's so eager right now. So, he is the pastor of Temple of Praise. We thank God. He is an anointed preacher. He can preach the house down. He's build it, preach it down, build it again, lay fire around, burn it down, and build it again. That is not called arson if you're doing it for the will of God. Amen. But we thank God. It's still arson. We thank God for him. Okay, I told you I wanted to sing this song. The songwriter said, Come on and bless the Lord with me. the son of Lord God. Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart to be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And let the church say, Amen. Amen. Giving honor to Bishop Hauser, giving honor to Bishop House for Praise of Praise of Rochester. Wow. Giving honor to our Pastor Young from Hill of, Hill of God. Giving honor to Minister Stephen Gibson, Living Ministry. Elder, Elder Stephen Gibson from Living Ministries, President Gibson and Pastor of Living Ministries, and Elder Zachary Gibson from Living Ministries. Amen. 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 God has truly and sincerely been good to us. How many believe God has been good to you? Oh, come on. Last year, think about what God has done. Has it been good to us? Hey Amen. God has truly made ways out of no ways. He's been mighty, mighty good to us. Now, 2015 is over. Not yet. You're and exactly oh. about exactly 40. Over. 45 hours. Two days is 48 hours. And it's not going to be really cool. Two That's days. only like what? No, it would be like 30 something. Yeah. 
about 30, approximately 35 hours, because 24 hours is one day. So if you count 24 right now, because plus it, it is 5.32 right now, and midnight tomorrow is 12. So, so that's, that's about, about six and a half hours. Lord help me. Yeah, six and a half hours. That's about 30 and a, 30 hours. Yeah. 31. About 30, 30, 31 hours left of this year. And personally, I'm sorry, but I don't think if we have church tomorrow, I don't think I can make it. But I will try my best because I have an appointment somewhere at 8 o'clock in the morning that I do not want to watch my phone. I do not want to go to. Because I got an appointment tomorrow that I do not want to go to. Because that appointment, that, 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 uh, when you say that department stinks. And I do not want to go there. You're talking about the locusts. No, I'm talking about the team. Oh, okay, that's different. But like I said, the year is over. In about 31 hours. And I want to leave you with something. That it stuck with me. I, uh, it, me and Jeremiah had an appointment. Me and Bishop Hauser had an appointment in Deliverance. And this guy spoke to me. He touched me. He said, no, he touched me at Deliverance Temple. And I'm going to use his title because his title was very touching. And I think it's going to be the theme for my church this year. Look at your neighbor say, neighbor, neighbor. Today, today is my day, is my day of, release. of release. Look at somebody else and say, neighbor, neighbor. Today, today is my day. No, I think I'm ready to go. Today, Today is my day of release. Not yesterday, not that, not yesterday, not tomorrow, not a week ago, but today is my day of release. Now, release the When we go to the book of Exodus, when we go to the book of Exodus, I'm not going to be up here long. Give me, give me 15 minutes. I'm going to be out your way. Today, listen, look at somebody else and say today. Today. This bike sounds like the one just like a deliverance temple. Say today. Today. It's my day. It's my day. It feels like a two. Of release. Of release. No, deliverance temple. It has a little bit much. I was like, what the? Like you go, right there. I put my chair right there. Today. Look at it. Every time I say that, I want you to repeat it. It's a day. It is my day of news. The book of Exodus, the eighth chapter. Please stand for the word of God. Everybody stand. I want everybody to get this tonight. Tonight. Because today, 5.35 p.m. Today. Huh? No. Today. Is my day of release. Release, release. What does release mean? Well, since I didn't have time to look it up. Siri, what does release mean? Okay, give me a moment. From 22 definitions of release, the first one is merchandise issued for sale or public showing, especially a record or film. So we're gonna buy some. That was absolutely horrible. <laughs> what is the definition of release? Release means allow or enable to escape from confinement, set free. Siri said, release. Not yet, I'm not there yet. Release is allow or enable to escape. Everybody say escape. Escape. From Confinement or set free. Look at your neighbor say, neighbor, neighbor, it's time to set some things free. Set some things now, when we go to the book of Exodus, Exodus, the whole book of Exodus is the exit. We learned that in Sunday school. The whole book of Exodus is the exit from whatever they were in. See, we got to turn, we gotta learn how to use the books of the Bible. And situations and, and help us through situations. That's why we gotta read our Bible. Amen. Oh, y'all ain't talking back to me. I said that's why y'all gotta read your Bible. Amen. The book of Exodus. The eighth chapter. And the first verse says, And the Lord spake 
unto Moses. Go unto Pharaoh. You guys know where I am? Yes. Yes. Uh, and the Lord spake unto Moses, Go unto Pharaoh and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Let's start by saying that episode today. Second, verse 2. And if thou refuse to let them go, behold, I will smite all thy borders with frogs. And the world shall bring forth abundantly, shall bring forth frogs abundantly, which shall go up and come into thine house and into thy bedchamber, and upon thy bed and into the house of thy servants, upon thy people, into the thine ovens, and to thy woe. And kneading throughs, netting throughs. All the frogs shall come up both of thee, and upon thy servants, and upon thy servants. All thy servants. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and said unto Aaron, Stretch forth thine hand with the rod over the streams, over the rivers, and over the ponds, and cause frogs to come up the land of Egypt. Then he did it. Verse 7 says, And the magicians could, magician did so with their, the magicians did it with their enchantments, and brought up frogs upon the land of Egypt. Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and said, And sweep the Lord, that he may take away the frogs from me. And take my people, and well, I will let people go, that they may do sacrifice unto the Lord. Now, when we look at this, uh, I'm almost through. When we look at this passage of scriptures, it talks about when God told Moses to go unto Pharaoh and say, "Let my people go." See, sometimes, sometimes we got to listen to the voice of not sometimes, but we always got to listen to. The voice of the Lord. We cannot be like Jonah. In the book of Jonah, whenever he went, he was supposed to go to Nineveh, right? Tarsus. Yeah, he wanted to go to Nineveh, but he fled. He went. He went to Tarshish on a boat. God, you know the situation. He stirred up the boat. He made a storm come on and made everything happen. But we got to realize the voice of the Lord and the voice of the devil. Come on, now talk back to me. You know, sometimes you know that voice right in the back of your head whenever it says you, whenever you're not supposed to do something, it says you know you ain't supposed to do that. Yes. You know that voice that comes up in your head when you have to take some, when you have to take some candy from your mama, take some out your, take some out of her purse. You hear know, that voice? voice inside your head that you know you ain't supposed to do that. Yes, sir. When you have to do something bad with some of your so-called friends, y'all ain't talking about to me. When you have to do something bad with some of your friends, the voice in the back of your head says you know you shouldn't do that. I ain't there yet. Hold on. Let me. I'm just talking. Amen. Amen. Whenever you hear that little voice, that is some might, some psychologists that work on the brain. Some psychologists say that's your conscience. But I don't think that's true. Because, let me walk and talk. Because, I don't think that's your conscience. Because why would there be a random voice? That's how people get, uh, that's how people get uh, insane. You ever hear of schizophrenia? No. You don't know what that is? No. Schizophrenia is like when you hear voices in your head. I, I, I'm pretty sure you heard it before. Schizophrenia? I just hear voices in my head. Schizophrenia. See, that's what I think it is. But it, schizophrenia, no. Because sis, schizophrenia is whenever the devil tries to come in. That's a spirit. That's a spirit. So now when we go back to the verse. It talks about how God was instructed Moses to go to Pharaoh and say, let my people go. We all know the story. He went there. He denied it the first time. He told God and God made the frogs come out. He made a plague of frogs go through. And why are you shaking your head? Oh, my bad. He made the blood go through, not the frogs. My bad. It says it right here in the frogs, though. He said that when he went to Pharaoh, he said no the first time. But the second time he went through, he said, he, I remember vividly, the second time he went through, he said, speak with God in your mouth. In the book of Exodus, if we go to the book of Exodus, the 30, I'm pretty sure it's the 30, 32nd 
34th chapter, it talks about how they went there, they got up, and Moses went up to the people and said, it's time for us to leave. It's time for God's people to leave whatever situation it is because this year is going to be over in about 30 hours. I come in and with somebody in here and it's time to release everything that's going on in your life. It's time to release everything. I keep on like you. It's time to release everything that is going on in your life. And whatever you go through, it's time for you to release Push you 